Uh, hi, my name is Joseph Madden. Everybody likes each other for who they are, and I didn't have that in my middle school. Everybody hung with their own group, and it was like, if you're not like us, then you can't be with us for that. But here, it's like a community. Everybody feels like they have a home here, and they have a community here. And that's what it is. It's a big home for all the students that are here, and the teachers are like the parents. You see everybody on a regular basis, so you get to know people in depth. Our culture here, of community together. You get to learn with each other and learn about each other as you learn within classes. Like this is a caring environment and I know that everyone has each other back. And it really helps you like, especially at this age of being a teenager, learning how to accept everybody for who they are. It's not a school, it's a community. We get together, we're friends. We don't care how different you are. We accept you just the way you are. We accept you for you and we don't care whether you're black, white, Hispanic, gay, straight, lesbian, doesn't really matter. You get open here, you can come, we'll treat you like a family, you're our brother, you're our sister. Welcome to Common Ground, my name is Marcel. I'm senior here at Common Ground High School. I've been here all four years, and here at Common Ground, we are at the edge of a state park with a farm within New Haven. Hello, my name is Batu, I'm a junior at Common Ground High School. Yeah, my classes are pretty hard, but they're like also like fun classes. Like I learn a lot in them. They're interesting. <laughs> I do not advise the performance of that experiment. You learn a lot of different things, but you also get the support of the teacher. It's not like you're trying to do it on your own. Even when you feel like you're going to give up, like you can't because like they're always on you. Like you're going to do it. You're going to do it well because I know you got this. Patient and reasonable tone is used with what kind of people? Children. Yeah. Childlike mentality. You think it's so simple. You think it's done. You think you can fix this. Le moment de ma vie, uh, mes souvenirs de enfance. J'habitais dans une maison, j'en dans la ville de Derby. But but you might but you might know them after you start to love. Them. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily. That's the danger, right? As long as you stay afraid of your neighbor, you're in the system. You're, you've got a window in your head. Teachers at Common Ground write their own custom courses, and many of those courses have an environmental theme built in. Some of our custom courses include uh, biodiversity, for usually for freshmen and sophomores, the study of why diversity matters. Uh, we also have a course called Food in the Environment. Food in the Environment is a course aimed at the modern industrial food system. Other classes include uh, environmental justice. Environmental justice is really focused on the problem of environmental pollution, environmental issues, and how they affect marginalized people. And often what we're getting at is a much stronger education system in general, where we're not divided into particular academic disciplines, but where we're bringing the strength of each to bear on real world environmental problems and challenges. So for, uh, for seven years now, uh, Elm Shakespeare has dispatched a couple of uh, directors to, uh, to Common Ground for 12 weeks. And work on a Shakespeare play from an English uh, literature standpoint and from a theatrical performance standpoint. In the beginning, we had kind of like just the English class and we really learned about Shakespeare and his writing and his works. And when the drama came in, we actually like brought that to life. When I first found out I had the class, I was like trying to find out ways that I could participate without actually being in the play. But when I started learning about the class, it like, it was, became fun. And when you perform plays and engage your body in speaking these words, there's a completely different effect um, that happens other than, than just reading them. One, two. Three! Shakespeare! <laughs> so my name is Tom Gaudioso. I run Green Jobs Corps uh, here at Common Ground. We employ students here at Common Ground in paid jobs. They work here on site and in a few local organizations. So one of the opportunities of me being a student at Common Ground is getting a job through the school. And we plant trees in the city of New Haven, like about 70 trees here. All of the jobs here on site or off site 
are really environmental. We actually, you not only do you learn about it, but you also create a change. We're here at Brendan Rogers Middle School and we're working in a garden to build community. Because we all live in some sort of environment and the best thing to do is to make that a better environment to build a better community. Oh, we're well, looking for more. Let's see if there's bugs in this. There's so many opportunities and if you do have a passion for something, you can say, hey, I'm looking for this. Do you think this is possible? Welcome to Erotics. There's a lot of things going on at once. They have more advanced projects where they work on uh, personal computing and uh, Linux operating systems, things like that. So, uh, right now, what's what is your robot working on, Logan? And it's going, do, uh, picking up a piece of a block and then moving it through the maze you made. Okay. I am Lynette, and I'm a graduating senior at Common Ground. Um, one of the biggest things that I liked about Common Ground is all the opportunities I've been able to be a part of and all the internship opportunities I've had. Going to DR with the Amistad America internship, going to Oregon because of LEAF, and being able to meet and interact with a lot of people from around the city and from other towns, and to meet people from various places all throughout Connecticut. It's a great experience to know people and to open up your social network. So whenever you do have a passion here at Common Ground and you tell somebody about that passion, they're always going to work with you to meet that passion. My name is Haley O'Brien, and today we're the senior seminar final presentations. A group of six students, there's about six different groups, had to search um, and focus on a different social justice issue. I think it's very powerful the fact that six seniors can tackle two different social justice issues and make a difference in their community. And I think that's one of the really neat things about being a Common Ground student. When you're here, you are a leader on our campus and you are making the Common Ground community what it is. The wetland behind us, it was designed in large part by students. It was planted by our students um, and they're the ones who care for our campus. And we really expect all of our students to step up as leaders. It's the expectation that everybody can lead, everybody can be powerful. And that's part of what Common Ground is. The school helped me become more comfortable with who I am and talking to others and that helped me in a sense grow as a leader. It definitely forces you to become this strong leader and a strong presenter not only in Common Ground but also in your communities. It helped me to just bring out who I, who I am on the inside. If I didn't go to Common Ground I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't be who I am today. Trees need people! Trees need people! People need trees! People need trees! People need trees. to the United States and I started going to middle school, I already knew it was going to be difficult since I didn't speak English. How View College was almost like a dream, uh, a movie. When I came to Common Ground High School, I read that this was a college preparatory and that they was going to prepare you for the next four years about what, it was going, what was college and what it meant to be in college. So ever since I came here, I knew college was going to be an opportunity for me. When I first came to Common Ground, I guess I knew that I was going to get into college, but I didn't really have a, a very focused like way of where I wanted to go or what exactly I wanted to be. Finally, like it took me to my junior year to actually know what field I wanted to be in, and then as a senior, like now going into college, knowing exactly what I want to do. So at the beginning of the junior year, we allow our juniors to take a, a career interest inventory where. It, uh, they can find out what, where their strengths lie, then find out um, what they absolutely love to do or what they absolutely hate to do. That everyone wants to be involved, and everyone wants to, everyone's here beyond the school day to help students. Even if you don't know what you want to do with your future, even if you don't want to go to college, they still push you to go to like community college just so you can go out into your community and actually make a difference by having a good job. So like I said, my mission is complete now that I'll be attending college. Carlos Enrique Grande. I present to you the Common Ground High School graduates of the So one of the most exciting things that our students have helped us design on our campus is our new school building. 
and we're in the process of building a new facility on our campus. It's going to have two state-of-the-art science classrooms, a great art studio, and a half-court gym. And like everything on our campus, our students have helped design that building so that we can create the learning environment that they really deserve. It's also going to be a state-of-the-art building from an environmental point of view, and it's going to allow us to really live out our environmental values.